Hi, I'm Phyllis from the Doll Corner. And today I wanted to show you how to make the little pants for this little teddy bear. The last video I did up the vest. I made the pattern. Showed you how to make the pattern and put the vest together. And now I'm going to show you how to put a pair of pants together for them. And so it's really simple to do. Take a piece of paper. Make sure I get them all in the... Yeah. Get a piece of paper and I draw a line down the center. And then I draw one along the bottom. And I know my legs. I have this chart that I made the other day. And the legs of my teddy bear, the inseam is three inches. So I want to go up three and a half inches for same allowances or hem. If I wanted to make my hem a little larger, I would make this a little bit longer depending on the length of your, the width of your hem on your, and then I know my teddy bear from here to here, this is out about an inch and a half. As you can see he's got a tummy on him. And this is the seam in here. And from here, around to here is six inches, or six and a half. And this is quite flat in here. And he's got his little tail. So what I'm going to do to allow for that one and a half inches at the front for his tummy, I measure over here from the center line an inch and a half and I draw a line down. And then for the back, this is depth is three inches. So I go across here and I measure out three inches and three inches down here and I draw another line. And now I want to make, this is my crutch seam, so I want to just curve this around, like that. And then for the back, as I mentioned, it's pretty flat here, so I'm going to basically up about here, run this straight across and to about there and then curve this. Now I will make a little mark here and here and this is for an opening for his tail. Now this will all be cut out of the pattern. And I go across here I have 15 inch waist so 4 goes into 15 I think it's 3 and 3 quarters so I want another quarter of an inch for a seam allowance here so I'm going over there 4 inches and draw a line there. And then go right down, go right down to here. And you will see that this will be the back. And I, on the front, 
I go across four inches as well. And I draw a line down through here. And then I will cut this in half right up this line. as big and now I am going to put a little glue on this and glue those together now, I forgot to put a mark here, so I'm going up here. Where's my... Five and a half inches, and I'll put a mark there. And I go up six and a half. And I put a mark there. And I join those. And I cut that off. And as you see, it's sloped. I didn't cut that straight, so. See how it's sloped here? That's to allow for the back seam. Maybe I goofed here at my measurement. Anyway, this is the idea. You've got a slope here. And then this is where you'll have a little opening in here for your tail to come out. And then you cut the little long here. And that's your pattern. Just as easy as that. And now when you cut your pattern out, see I got this all messed up. I cut two pieces. And I sew up the center seam. That's my first seam I put on it. And then I open it up and I make my casing. Now I like to just serge along this edge and serge along here. But if you don't have a serger and you just want to turn it in and then turn it over and make your casing for your elastic. And then you turn up your leg. And then when you get that done, it should look something like this. 
the seam sewn and your casing here. Now I've stitched a, a little top stitching right along the edge of here just to help keep the elastic in there straight. And then I run my elastic through <clears throat> through my casing. What I how I do my elastic, I will take and measure the length I need and then I put a pin in it crossways and then thread my elastic through and that keeps it from sliding through and then I can just cut it off here. I don't waste any extra. Sometimes you'll leave it a little bit two or three inches longer here and you mightn't be able to do anything with what's left. Maybe I won't be able to do much with this either but it's all in one piece. And then I take and I bring my two back seams together stitch it back stitch it here a couple of times so that my elastic don't come loose and sew my seam and then I bring my side seams together And then I sew across here to form my legs. And I often, or most times, I start in the center here. I match up my seams and start in the center and work here and then go back and sew like that. And that gives me a nice, neat seam in the center here. Now I might yet put some trim down the side. Or I could put some trim around the legs just to add some interest. But of now I'll just leave it. Much wonder he wasn't going in very good. Two legs down one. I pull his tail out through the opening that I left. And there's my little teddy bear. All dressed up, looking good. And it only took a few minutes and it didn't take much material. <laughs> and I did add some trim on the little vest. So please subscribe. Touch the bell so you'll get a notice when I put my next video out. And give me a thumbs up. Uh, share, leave a comment. If you have any questions, be sure and email me or leave it in the comment and I will try and get back to you as soon as I can. And I may, I may even put a little top for this teddy bear. And if I do, I'll be back with another video. So thanks for watching. Bye now.